Okay, so welcome back. Uh, now we'll be talking about transport and assimilation of adsorbed neutrons. Uh, so what happens over here, right? We will see how the adsorbed neutrons are actually transported around the human body, where the blood capillaries that supply the small intestines will unite to form the hepatic portal vein. And this hepatic portal vein will then transport sugar and amino acids to the liver. Okay. So do take note of the spelling of hepatic portal vein as well. And this is the only uh, blood vessel that will be able to connect the small intestine to the liver. Okay. So what happens to the adsorbed uh, sugar? The hepatic portal vein will carry the adsorbed sugar to the liver. And in this case, in the liver, some most of the sugar will then be converted into glycogen and stored. The glucose is also transported by a hepatic vein to the different parts of the body. Okay, and this is where the hepatic portal vein will carry only the adsorbed sugar. So what happens is, after it has been digested, this sugar will trans be transported from the hepatic portal vein up into the liver. And the hepatic vein will transport uh, your blood into the heart. Whereas the artery will actually transport from uh, blood from the heart into the liver okay so this is uh another thing to take note uh, and that um and most of, and sometimes your liver would actually be able to do the conversion of glycogen for storage so it alone is not able to do it it needs other uh, hormones to help it so first of all glucose is the energy source for all cells in the body and that insulin helps to regulate this amount of glucose to enter into the bloodstream so for the insulin, it helps to stimulate the liver to convert your glucose into glycogen. Okay. And that what happens to the adsorbed amino acid? This is where in the liver, excess amino acids are usually deaminated or converted to urea. And in this case, these amino acids, they are also uh, transported by the hepatic portal vein into the liver. But then subsequently, the amino acids are then transported by the hepatic vein to the different parts of the body for utilization and amino acids um, are being used to actually more for growth and repair of your of your human cells or your human body the hepatic vein would also the hepatic portal vein carries the adsorbed amino acids to the liver that means after digestion it will be actually uh, distributed there so in the sense the hepatic vein will distribute amino acid to be used for growth and repair in the cell and this helps to form enzymes and hormones. So for our functions of the liver, for functions of the liver, these are the general ideas of what the function of liver is supposed to be. Number one for detoxification, storage of iron, protein synthesis, production of bile, and of course regulation of our blood glucose concentration. So in this aspect, right, what are the ideas behind it? Is that for regulation of blood glucose concentration, the liver keeps the blood glucose concentration constant at about 70 to 90 milligrams per 100 cm cube of blood. And then this liver, and then the liver will help to stimulate the insulin and glucagon to store and release glucose respectively. Uh, but do take note that the hormone insulin and glucagon, they do not actually matter with the liver itself instead uh, what happens is um, it helps to stimulate the liver to do the conversion so the hormones itself will not do the conversion the liver would then do the conversion so how would then uh, insulin and glucagon control the carbohydrate metabolism too much glucose in the blood will actually cause the liver to convert glucose into glycogen and in this case we will be able to see that uh, uh, the isla of Langerhan will secrete insulin. So too much glucose in the blood uh, will stimulate the isla of Langerhans to secrete insulin. And what insulin will do, it will then convert, uh, it will cause your liver to increase the permeability of the, uh, of the cell to actually take in glucose. Liver will then convert the glucose into glycogen and thereby bringing the glucose level down. Another way to decrease the glucose is that 
Insulin will actually help to stimulate your cells to undergo aerobic respiration, to use the glucose to, for respiration to release energy and hence decrease the concentration of glucose. For too much of glucose in the blood, the scenario is either you have a glucose-rich meal or you eat a lot. Lah. Okay. Now, too little glucose in the blood, you will have your isthmus of Langerhans that will then secrete your glucagon. This will then reduce your permeability for the liver to take in glucose and your liver will then convert your stored glycogen into glucose. So do take note that only liver will convert excess glucose into glycogen. Huh? And, um, and then the liver in the action with the help of the glucagon, uh, it will convert the liver will convert glycogen into glucose so that this will bring up your blood glucose level. Production of bowel. So the liver actually produces bowel to emulsify fats. Um, and then where will this bowel be uh, sent to? It will be sent to the gallbladder for storage. Okay, protein synthesis. The liver uses amino acids to help synthesize proteins such as your prothrombin and your fibrinogen. And the amino group of the amino acids will then be removed by the process of deamination, converting it to urea in the liver. Prothrombin and fibrinogens, they are protein, they are usually involved in blood clotting. Okay, so um, the carbon residues of your amino acids from deaminations are also converted to glucose in the liver. So this is how a typical amino acid uh, looks like. The R represents a very long carbon chain. Um, but then you will see that there is two main items. One is the amino group and the other one is your carboxyl group. So this is the one that will actually become your glucose and stored as glycogen. Whereas your amino group, your NH2, will actually be converted to ammonia, then will be converted to your urea. Urea will be excreted into your, uh, by your urea. So that's where it will be traveled to the uh, kidney. Uh, to, to actually be excreted and processed. Uh, storage of iron is another function of the liver where red blood cells, when, are, when they are worn down, and of course for red blood cells, due to the absence of the nucleus, they have very, very um, uh, short lifetime. So they are usually destroyed in the spleen and their hemoglobin is then sent to the liver to be recycled. The breakdown of hemoglobin produces iron which is then stored in the liver and is used in the synthesis of new red blood cells. So the breakdown of hemoglobin will then be naturally converted to bowel for usage as well. Your liver will also undergo detoxification and uh, it is the process of converting harmful substances into harmless products. So enzymes like your alcohol dehydrogenase will be converted into um, alcohol into uh, acetyl aldehydes. Acetyl aldehydes is then used as a source of energy in cells. So for alcohol, under the process of alcohol dehydrogenase, it will then be converted to acetyl aldehydes. So what are some of the harmful effects of uh, excessive alcohol consumption? This one comes in uh, during exam, uh, where it will be written as a form of essay, where you need to actually give all these uh, uh, factors in. Uh. So first of all, it causes liver cirrhosis, is the is a scarring of the liver. Okay, and then it also slows down some of your brain function. So you tend to be not alert and you uh, you tend to be not that uh, you tend to make mistakes also. Lah. Then of course reduce self-control. Um, you will also have the symptoms of drunkenness. There will also be a frequent so this frequent intake of alcohol, right? Will may also eventually lead to addiction. And that will give you other rise of physical abuse and what's not uh, to family members and what's not. Um, there's also the increase of the risk of gastric ulcers and gastric ulcers usually happens in the stomach all the way to your elementary canal. Okay, So that is what you need to know for nutrition in human. Um, do take the time to revise the work uh, and remember the key 